What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. We are back today with this Trick Room team in the Ranked Double Ladder. So if you are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way and it only takes a second of your guys' time. I know we've been on the casual ladder for a little bit, just messing around with the new stars. So if you haven't checked out those videos, go swing by, check them out, let them up, all that good stuff. But on this team right here, we got a Bronzong Trick Room team. I've been using some Trick Room teams on the Ranked Ladder. Been still working pretty, pretty good. But I haven't tried a Bronzong team out yet, so I'm pretty excited for this one because it has trick room it has hypnosis so it can put people to sleep it has that speed swap also and a body press for some damage according to his defense we also have that butterfree over here butterfree's gonna be a nice little setup pokemon we can put pokemon to sleep it has rage powder kind of like acts as a follow me palm puff to heal up or do damage and that protect also has that focus sash so it's gonna be a nice lead to kind of just roll in there either put somebody to sleep or help us set up that trick room we have the right here absolute beast in trick room with that weakness policy with rock slide eq rock wrecker and protect all stab moves, all stab moves, he's going to be there for big damage. Then we got the other side of the playing field with the Charizard and Wimscott. We can take the speed advantage with this team. We got the Life Orb, Charizard, Solar Power. Big, big boy. Everyone already knows him. He's in the meta. Once you get him in the sun, it's game over. Wimscott's there for that Tailwind. Can set up the sun. Has Fake Tears as well and Moon Blast for stab. Then in the final spot, just as a nice Pokemon to kind of gel this team together, is this Beast of the Rowdown with the Soul Fest, Rocket Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon, T-Bolt, and Dragon Tail. You guys want to use this team for yourself front the code is at the bottom of the screen and let me know for question of the day will you guys be picking up the new animal crossing because there was just a new direct on animal crossing and the game looks amazing i'm a big fan of the animal crossing series and i cannot cannot wait to pick up that up and do some content on the channel so i want you guys feedback let me know if you guys are picking it up and if you guys are excited for that game but guys let's get rolling onto the rank ladder i believe we're not end off yesterday in my stream i ended off i think like around 2000 maybe 3000 Somewhere around there. Let's see. Yeah, 2,694. We are 115 for 104. We're going to hop into this one and get rolling there. Let's see how far we drop down. A little scary. It's a little scary when you go offline. You know you drop down when you go offline. You don't play for a little bit. Whoa, we went up. No, I won my last match. I won my last match. Okay, that's what happened. I won my last match, and now we go up. I was going to say, how do we go up from not even playing? It's because we won the last match. But we're going to hop into this battle with this team right here. Let's get rolling, dude. I'm actually hyped for this one. Let's go, baby. Let's go. If you guys haven't checked out my streams yet, what are you guys doing? Link in the description below. Jeans25, we stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out. It is so much fun. You can catch me live, ask me questions, all that good stuff. But let's go. Who are we playing? Who are we playing? So we're going up against a Durant team right here and a competitive Milotic. They're kind of a pain to, to go up against because it's probably rocking Hypnosis, Coil. Okay, so it has Hypnosis Coil. These Milotics have been running the meta as of recently. I've been seeing them a lot more and more on the meta. I kind of want to get this Trick Room set up. I mean, is that an Imprisoned Chandelure? That could be scary, an Imprisoned Chandelure. But I would love to get this Trick Room out here. I mean, does my Charizard outspeed in a Tailwind? He doesn't have a Tailwind Pokemon. And he would just swap out his Durant. I'm going to take, actually, this. do I take the speed side of it? I mean, he could just go for a Follow Me and then dump on my Charizard. That's a fact. That is a straight fact. If he goes Durant, Togekiss. I think best play would be actually just set up the Trick Room and get rolling with that. Go so Bronzong and have Duraldon in the back end. I think that's the call because we can either go for a Sleep or a Rage Powder with our Butterfree and definitely a Trick Room with our Bronzong. Or we can put Pokemon to Sleep with the Hypnosis. That, that's two Sleep Pokemon. It's going to be pretty fun. We are rocking out with the Cobra Berry, so Dark Moves will be able to eat up a little bit more. I think it's Dark Moves, right? It's Darker Ghost. That's what a Cobra Berry is. I, I forget which one it is, but it's either or. It is either or. Let's get it. Let's go. I want to win this first match. We're close to pushing 1,000. My highest now is uh, 1,100 around there in my rank. But I have never been able to push over that 1,000 hump. I was so close my one stream. I was like, bruh, we were so close. We were at 1,100 and lost. And I was like, bruh. But I think we lost to a double crit. We got double critted by a Dazzling Gleam Super Luck Toe Kiss. And it wiped out my front two Pokemon. I was like, bruh, get out of my face. But it goes Grimmy Grim into, who was it? Grimmy Grim and uh, Chandelure. Okay, probably trying to imprison my Trick Room. He is probably trying to imprison my Trick Room. So I might just go for a nice little uh, speed swap. Do I speed swap that Chandelure? Or do I swap here? Oh, this is, this is pretty tough. I don't want to swap into the right period. I mean, I can go for a Trick Room. I can go for a Trick Room because if we do get it, we are chilling. I could see... Actually, I could see a Sucker Punch into a... Uh... Let's just go for a Trick Room. We're just going to go for a Trick Room. We're on Sleep Powder into Trick Room. I can see an Imprison coming out from the Chandelure. Let's see what happens. Fake Out comes from the Butterfree. He's going to take out my Butterfree. That's totally fine. Unless you Imprison me. He doesn't go for the Imprison. That was smart. You little Biscuit. You little Biscuit. I knew he was going for it. Mm. Sealed Trick Room. Uh, bum, 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 bum. 
We go for a sleepy powder. I could, I'm just gonna protect here because he's gonna try to take me out with the heat wave potentially. And I'm gonna hypnosis on the chandelier and put that thing to sleep and get rolling from there. Dude, I knew the imprison was coming. I don't even know why I like went for it still. Like that was just a straight fact. I said that in the beginning too. Heat wave's gonna pop over here, block, and then heat wave's gonna roll through. Yep, gonna get blocked by the butterfree. My boy should be able to eat that up and put that chandelier to sleep. He should be able to chill for me. Yeah, Bronzong eats. He's a, he's a pretty tanky boy. Pretty tanky boy. Hypnosis pops. Puts him to sleep. We're chilling from there. Um, how do we want to roll this one out now? I could t totally speed swap that, uh, Chen Lore. I could totally speed swap that. I could go for a pollen puff over here. Sorry, speed swapping out here. I want you your speed, my dude. Give me your speed. I'm not going to take the Grim Sorrow speed. Considering that, what's it called? That he has Prankster on, so he's going to go first anyway. Here goes the T-Wave from him. I'll try to pollen puff up here. I wish you could pollen puff yourself. Let's Give yourself some health. Jan Lord is slumped. Go ahead, Butterfree. Don't you dare be paralyzed. Palm Puff comes across. Yeah, ye give me that health, though. Yes, sir. Back to full health. Well, not to full health. We're going to get a decent amount, though. Bink. There we go. Nice HP restored. We're going to speed swap. We're going to take the Chandler's speed. That thing is now one of the slower Pokemon. Um, I could totally swap into my Rhyperior and swap that speed across. Oh, <laughs> we're going for it. We're going for it. And then we're going to speed swap over on the Butterfree and give the right period to Chandelure speed so now it's going to be one of the faster Pokemon here. Not bad. Not bad play, Jeans. You don't want to let me get that Trick Room? You know what? I'll just take your speed and use it against you. Go ahead. Go for a T-Wave on me. And I'm going to set the Sandstorm up after this on the Chandelure. Let's see what happens here. Go ahead. Speed swap. Yes, sir. Take it, right period. Take it, my dude. Chandelure, still be asleep. Oh, you little biscuit. Heat Wave pops. Who's dodging it? Bronzong and Voices, that's huge. Good job, Bronzong. Now we Dynamax our boy. Now we... Ooh, that did some damage on the right period, to be honest. Decent amount. Now we're going for the D-Max here. We have Levitate. I could just go for a straight DQ. Uh, but I'm going to Max Quake. No, I really want to get this uh, Sandstorm set up. Really do want to get the Sandstorm set up. Look at this. This one's 150. Power. Um, hmm. I can't roll a Trick Room just yet. Can I Hypnosis that thing? I feel like that doesn't affect them. I feel like it doesn't affect them. No, I feel like it does. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's try to hypnosis this thing. But that channel lord is going to go last now. And he's going to die to the sandstorm. Which is pretty nice. He's probably going to throw a shadow ball into my right here. Who will eat that up? The channel lord goes last. He's going to go Grimstarl probably. Or me? It depends. It depends. If he's going with a prankster move. Maybe setting up a reflect. So it's probably going to go Grimstarl. Uh, actually, it's just... Is Rhyperior faster than Bronzong? I'm talking about, I'm trying to think, because everything is mixed up now. So, the Chandler has a Bronzong speed. The Rhyperior, or the Bronzong has the Rhyperior speed. See, I told you, Rhyperior is going to be pretty fast here. We're going to drop this Rock Fall in here. Probably trigger Sash. Yep, Sash, this is why I want to put the Sandstorm out. He's going to die to the Buffets. And that's fine. Then we, we could set up a Trick Room later. But I really don't think we have to now. I really don't think we have to set up the Trick Room now. We got some competitive matches. Hypnosis pops out. Okay, it does work on the Grimstarl. Good. Night, night, buddy. Grimstarl goes to bed. Uh, Chandler's probably going to drop a heat wave now. Let's see what he does. Is he going to miss somebody? Shadow Ball is going to go across on my... Ooh. Not the Bronzon. Bronzon, eat it. Okay, Bronzon goes down. That's actually fine by me. I'm going to pull out my Butterfree now. Chandler's going to pop down here. We got decent speed. We have decent speed on our Rhyperior, which is type nice. He's asleep. I can go into my Butterfree. Or I can go into my Duraldon. What do I want? I kind of want to go into my Butterfree. As it's paralyzed, I'm going to try to heal up my Rhyperior or put the next Pokemon to sleep. I'm really not worried about the Grimstar because all he's going to do is put T-Waves on. He can't T-Wave my Rhyperior and my Butterfree's already paralyzed. So I'm not worried about the Grimstar. I'm just going to go straight for whatever Pokemon he throws out onto the field. Who is it? Who is it? Who else was he rocking out with his team? Well, we kind of played this one pretty well. Pretty well. Like, we knew he was going to imprison. Maybe I should just speed swap right off the rip. And just go from there. But, okay. He goes with his own Butterfree. Potentially going to... Oh, no. This is my Butterfree. I was going to say. I was going to say. I don't remember you having a Butterfree on your team. <laughs> Let's see. He goes into the Haxorus Maximus. Probably going to get the D-Max. That's probably a straight fact. I could Palm Puff. I do not really see him taking me out. I do not really see him taking me out. I'm going to go for a Quake here. And I'm going to put you to sleep. What do, you, what do we think he's going into? Probably a Steel Spike? But I don't see a Steel Spike taking me out. That's the thing. Or do I just Palm Puff? I mean, he's going to trigger my weakness policy. I mean, I, I can Palm Puff next turn. 
I can all honestly pile and puff next turn. I see him eating it up as it's a physical attacking move. I know it's super effective, but 300 HP on a defensive tank of a Rhyperior? I see us eating it up, triggering the weakness policy, and just rolling from there. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Maybe I just should have pile and puff. Because if he triggers my weakness policy, then we're probably dumping this thing turn one. So I should have just pile and puff. That should have been the play I call. So Hexers will go first. I think Grimstar will probably slump this turn, two turn sleep. I can see it happening. I'd kind of be mad if he wakes up here. We only get a one turn slumper. Let's see what happens. Yep, he's still fast asleep. Probably trying to set up a uh, light screen. Let's see what happens. Wormwind's gonna fly out here just to drop my attack. Um, maybe take out my Butterfree? Yeah, take out my Butterfree. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We're gonna fly across here. He's gonna drop our attack. That was smart. That was smart for him to drop our attack here. Butterfree goes down. We pull out our Duralda, which is gonna be pretty nice. We have the Flash Can to take out the Grimstar, but again, I'm not worried about the Grimstar. I'm gonna drop this. How much damage are we doing to this thing? Do some work. Nothing. <laughs> but we do boost our special defense, which is, which is all right. Which is all right. We could go into the dragon move now. I really do not see the Hexers doing too, too much damage to us. Do wish we would, I do wish we would have put that thing to sleep. This is a close match. This is actually a really good first match. We got the Assault Vest out here. Um, Do I drop a Draco Meteor on it? I could totally drop a Draco Meteor onto that thing. Or Dragon Tail. Like, Draco Meteor would be the call. Hmm. I'm gonna quake this thing. I'm gonna quake that. I'm gonna drop a Draco Meteor on this thing. I'm gonna drop a Draco Meteor. He's probably going for a max quake on me. Let's totally see what happens. Let's see what happens. He's still slumped. He is still slumped. What are you gonna do here? Extra. The knuckles fly through. We could potentially eat up a knuckle. Let's see. Yes, we do eat up a knuckle. That is honestly huge. That is huge. Because this Draco Meteor can potentially just one tap this thing. This attack does get the boost. Let's go. Let's get him. Attack! <laughs> right, Peter goes before the route on. He's still faster than us, which is pretty tough. We're going to put this on him. Not do too, too much damage here because we have an attack drop one. But we are going to boost our special defense. Can we take out this, uh, this Haxorus with this? That'd be type nice. Do it. Do him dirty. Boop! Take him out. Let's go. Let's go. Haxorus goes down. Still a very close match, to be honest. Still a very close match. How many Pokemon did we take out of him? I get lost. I get lost in the, in the match. I get lost in the match. How many did we take out? Does he have one more? That's my question. He might have one more. I hope not. I really hope not. He does. He does. He's communicating for a little longer. Yes. Who's he sending out? The Togi Kiss. Rock Wrecker's going to be able to do some damage here. Um, I might just protect with my Duraludon because he might try to take me out here. But I, do we go Rock Wrecker? The user launches a huge boulder and can't attack next turn. Okay, no. We're just going to go for the rock side. We say that thing's still asleep. Oh, well, we have to go for a flash cannon. I, I got to go for this thing. Where do I go for a T-Bolt? Flash cannon's our best bet. Come on, baby. Who's going? Oh, he's three turns sleep. That is huge. That is huge, guys. Rock side pops. Go ahead. Do some work on the tokus. Potentially flinch it. Potentially flinch it. Let's see what we got. Tell me to flinch. Oh, we go before, too. Let's go. Boop. Nice little damage. Come here, drop. No drop. That's some green pops. Ooh! That's scary. Rowdon goes down. Oh, no. Critical hit on him. He was probably going down anyway. Um, What do we have to go for here? The Buffets do pop. Do we see a rock side taking him out? This is terrible. <laughs> uh, how many turns left in this answer? That's my question. We do have Protect on this thing, which could be pretty huge. He's, the Crimson Arrow is going to wake up here. Sandstorm has one more turn, so we're not going to get Buffet this turn. That sucks. That honestly sucks. Rockside's gonna have to pop. Because we can potentially get the flinch on the Toad Kiss. Grimstar should wake up unless he's at four turns sleep. That'd be nuts. Yeah, he wakes up. T-Wave's gonna pop. It doesn't affect me, my dude. It doesn't affect me. Rockside goes out. Hits them both. Come on, show me the flinch on the Toad Kiss. This is such a good match. This is such a good match. Show me the flinch. Oh! Oh! Let's go. Let's go. My boy, that speed swap early on is coming up clutch. Oh, we have a problem here. We have a problem here. We have to land this. And then I can try out a rock wrecker. Unless this will just take out the Grimstar. Let's see what happens. Show me your canceling out the battle. Show it to me. Dude, what? Dude, we made some good plays. Battle was canceled. Great plays, yo. That speed swap was clutch. Let's go. Let's hop into battle number two and try to go 2-0 with this squad. Now sitting at 1801 on the rank board. Guys, that was a good match. That was a really, really good match, to be honest. I'm glad we got to show off the Bronzong Trick Room, but we didn't even play the Trick Room. Like, we showed off the team with it, 
but we just outplayed the dude. Like, the Imprison came in, we were just like, give me your speed, we'll send it over to our big boy right here, and he just wrecks it out in the end. I know he dropped our attack, and it took us a little bit, but we, but we did play it very, very well, especially with that Traker Meteor coming in from the Duraludon, and then the, the Rhyperior just running things at the end. But battle number two, on its way, who do I see him leading potential? Ooh, I see him potentially leading the Inteleon Rillaboom. I see him leading Inteleon Rillaboom. I say we take the whole speed advantage with this one. I say we take the speed here. Let's go, let's go with this way. And then we get the Rowdon and Butterfree in the back end. I think this could work out very, very well. So I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think. So, like, we could take out that Inteleon, no problem. The Rillaboom, gone. We do a little good work here. Charizard's type nice. Charizard is type nice. You guys already know that. Life Orb, we can get the sunny day rolling. And then we can just get rolling from there. But I do see him going into the Inteleon Rillaboom. Considering a new thing in the meta. Not new thing, like, it's like here and there, you'll see it. People go into Soak Inteleon, and then Rillaboom does work once you soak up the Pokemon. Let's see if he does that. Let's see what he has. What are you doing? Told you. What did I say? I told you so. We're gonna set up the Sunny Day, turn one. Just so the water move doesn't do as much damage. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. And that thing could be a uh, Sash. I'm just gonna Dynamax. Uh, do I get the speed advantage or do I take the super effectiveness? I'm just gonna take the super effective damage onto the Inteleon. I don't mind Dynamaxing my dude. See what happens. You're going. Bro, that's a fast Pokemon. That's a fast Pokemon. That's a fast Inteleon. Honestly, I'm fine by it. I'm getting the sunny day up. I am getting the sunny day up. And if I can get rid of this Inteleon for my Charizard, I'm fine with it. We have that Duraludon in the back end. And this Butterfree to potentially put some Pokemon to sleep. But once we get the sunny day up, the Max Geyser's not gonna... It's not gonna take me out. Like, I know that for a fact, but then we're not gonna take him out. Because we don't have the solar power. So it's... it's it, it could be tough. And then we can set up the Tailwind and potentially outspeed. Then we can set up the Tailwind and potentially outspeed. And then be able to take out the Inteleon. We'll see. We'll see how this actually plays out. Or I can always fake tier. But I need a speed advantage. The fake out comes from you. Oh, no sunny day! Okay, Airstream. You're just going to take that out. That's uh, that's honestly fine by me. I'm chilling with that. I'm, I'm chilling with that. I think I'm cool with it. But he might take me out next turn. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We will just see what happens. We're going to have to play this one. We're playing this one in the hole now. We're playing this one in the hole. I gotta realize, like, people go after your tailwind Pokemon. <laughs> this, this, this shouldn't take him out. Should be able to do a decent amount, but... Oh! He's Sash. He's Sash. Okay. Yeah, he's Sash. That's fine. Did do some big damage. Okay, so we get that off. Um, how am I gonna roll out from here? I could guard and just pile puff and take that thing out. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I could guard and go for a pile and puff. I could totally do that. I really do need my Charizard up here. I like 100% need my Charizard here. Or do I say he goes for the protect? Or do I say he goes for the protect here? What's what's my call? I definitely want to palm puff across here just to take him out. I'm gonna guard. I'm gonna play this one safe. I am totally gonna play this one safe. I sh maybe should have read the guard and sent an airstream over to the left side or a flare to set the drought. Hmm. But hopefully he doesn't go for it. Let's see what happens. I don't think he went for it, because he's faster than us. His guard would have went first. Let's see what happens. Geyser comes out on my Butterfree? You doubling into my Butterfree? Did you read me? Did you read me, you hunk of junk? I think that Robo might be faster than me. Go ahead, Butterfree. Show him what's up. The rain does start. Go ahead, Butterfree. I need you to go first here. <gasps> Knock off. Okay, on my charge. That's totally fine. Cool, cool, cool. That's all I really wanted. I wanted to get this Inteleon out the way. Now we can roll out with my Charizard. Set up a max Airstream. Or do I set the Drought? It really depends who he throws out here. So that actually works out fine by me. Alright, we're chilling, we're chilling. I need that Inteleon out the way. We all know that was a fact. That I just need that Inteleon out the way. Because now he has the Rillaboom. I'm not too worried about the Rillaboom. It has Knock Off. He's probably going to try to knock off my Life Orb. Um, I could put something to sleep. He's probably going to take me out. I could just go for a Pollen Puff and set the Drought. But the Drought's going to help him out. So I think Airstream is the call here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna protect just to block a turn and I'm trying to get this speed because if I can get the speed on us then I can put a Pokemon to sleep before my Butterfree does go out a little bit of protect action Butterfree let's see what happens here knock off ooh 
Not my life orb. There's no way you're doubling into my Charizard. Show me you're going across. Airstream's gonna pop. I'm gonna get the speed advantage. Nice damage by Rillaboom. Let's go, Charizard. Life Orb, Charizard. Oh, it's not even Life Orb. He knocked off our item, too. That's just stab damage right there. Okay, now go after my Butterfree, please, because now that we have the speed boost, we can kind of go from there. Let's get it. Snarl comes out. Butterfree blocks it. That's fine. Drop my special attack. Charizard's really not going to do too, too much here anymore. Oh, my Charizard dodged it. Okay. Okay, Charizard. I see you, my dude. He's going to send out whom? The Conqueror. I'm going to put that thing to sleep. I'm going to put it to sleep because it might be Guts, and we can put it to sleep before it really does anything. Especially up against my Duraldon when my Duraldon does come in here. Let's go for the sleepy, the slumpy slump. You go to sleep. And we're going to we're gonna Hurricane on. Oh, we cannot miss our Hurricanes in the rain either. Charizard, stop it. You're too good. Mach Punch comes through. Oh, you hunk of junk. It's fine. My Charizard still sh should go and potentially take out this uh, Conqueror here for the Hurricane. It's 100% accuracy in rain. Big damage by Conqueror. Let's go. Duraldon's going to come in here and roll out and win this match. Not bad. Not bad. We've been getting thrown off a lot, to be honest, with, like, different, like, Pokemon just throwing off our tactics. Like, we want to come in here, roll speed. He took out our Tailwind Pokemon, and we're still going to win. And then in the first match, we want to go Trick Room. He stopped our Trick Room. We played a different route with it. Like, dude, that's awesome. I'm glad I'm getting to show off these battles right here. It's dope. It's dope. Let's go, Duraldon. Uh, should I just throw a Draco Meteor? Honestly, kind of want to, but kind of don't want to. Because I don't really want to drop my special attack too, too low and have him automatically win. But the Hurricane is definitely coming out here. 100% accuracy. I think this guy's just going to cancel. I think we're going to have two cancel battles. No, he does not cancel, but the Hurricane is going to hit 100%. I told you, 100% accuracy in the rain, which is huge. He's going to snarl up here. I'm going to T-Bolt. Get a little T-Bolt action. He's probably holding a berry, so I got to watch out. I really do have to watch out. This is why I didn't want to go for a Draco Meteor early on. Because I don't want to drop our special attack too, too much. We can potentially get a Paralyze. That's kind of what I'm going for. And I'm going for a Confuse with the Hurricane. So he eats his berry. We know my Charizard goes first. So my Charizard is going to be able to send out another Hurricane. Hopefully we can get the Confusion here. Duraladon. Duraladon. No more Grass. No more HP for all. It's chilling. That's fine. I like the rain, though. I'm thriving under the rain. And his, and his Heat Wave is going to stink under the rain. But that's chilling with me. That is chilling with me. Hurricane T-Bolt, potential paralyzed, confusion. Show me the rubber ducks. Not even rubber ducks. Just show me the ducks. Show me the ducks. Show them. Can't believe we didn't get the ducks yet. It's pretty whack. I'm looking for the ducks or the paralyzed. Banana, -na -na -na. dude, he's just dropping our special attack. I cannot go for Draco Meter. I need this paralyzed or something along the lines. <laughs> show it to me. Give me the paralyzed. Give him up. Nope. Rain did stop. Oh, uh, do we go for a hurricane now? I say we still go for that hurricane. And that T-Bolt. T-Bolt, Hurricane. I could protect my Charizard. Come on, show me this Hurricane lands. Yes, sir. Okay, lands that. This should be able to take out. He's probably going for another Snarl. He's going for a Morning Sun. Okay, that's game for us. We got this one in the bag. Oh, no, that's a heal move. Oh, you biscuit, though. Hold the phone. Hold the phone, my dudes. We need a Paralyze or something. I thought he was setting the sun. Oh, no. Hey, okay, T-Bolt again. Hurricane again. I'm not going to protect. I need to land a hurricane. I need to get confusion. Like, how didn't we confuse this thing just yet? Okay, we landed again. That's wonderful. Show me confuse him. Confuse him. How are we getting no ducks? Dude, I swear. He's going to win this one. <laughs> the way he's playing this, he's going to win this one. I know I roll from here. I need to get ducks or a paralyze on him. Like, something along the line. Show me paralyze. Come on. T-Bone. Hurricane's gonna miss. It's gonna miss. Sooner or later. Go ahead, Charizard. Land it. Land it, Charizard. What'd I tell you? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Can we get a paralyze on this dude? He's full health. What a play by him. I did not think he was going with the morning sun. Can we get a paralyze? Bruh. Bruh, how many moves are we sending at this dude to not get a paralyze? Let's go. Drop the hurricane. Can we get the ducks? Like, either or? Bro, we missed again. We missed again. Dude, he's going to win this one. He's going to win this one. That's a fact. I'm telling you, he's going to win this one. No way. Can we get the paralyzed now? I need to get the ducks or the paralyzed. Bro. Evil hurricane. Come on. I need a bed. Bro, are you serious? We missed three in a row? 
We missed three in a row? That is so whack. We lost this one. No. Just when I was saying we were going to win it. Are you serious? That's actually insane. T-Bolt's going to pop. We need to paralyze. Something come up big. Oh, my lord. Wow. GG to this guy. This was actually a very good game. This is actually a very good game, to be honest with you. He's going to roll out Heat Wave. Morning Sun. All right. We get it. We get it. I'm going to just leave this match. Dang, dude. I said I was going to win. But you know what? Things happen. Things happen. GG this guy. This guy actually played it very, very well. But maybe if I would have got a paralyze and not missed the last three attacks. Does this move paralyze? It paralyze, right? Yeah. Get out of my face. I'm running. GG to this guy. He played that one very, very well, dude. I did not expect him to be rolling out with Morning Sun. I thought he was going to go into Heat Waves. We were just going to run him out. But good game this guy. Let's hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record for this video. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of salty on that last match. My opponent played that very, very well, and it surprised me. I thought we had that one in the bag. But if you guys are hanging out with me in this third battle, give me a little bit of hashtag third battle squad in the comment section down below. We're going up against a Sandstream team right here, and the Gujar. Gujar's gonna be a little scary. Who do I think he's gonna roll out with early on here? We have Levitate to Bronze. Let's get our Trick Room up in here. Let's get our Trick Room up in here. We can go Trick Room here. He's got a rather fast team. I'm gonna go Butterfree. I'm gonna go Rhyperior Duraldon and try to get rolling right from here. I mean, he doesn't really have any firepower besides maybe the Gudra, right? The Gudra or that Tokus. I can see a Tokus. That thing's probably super luck with Max Flare, all that good stuff. But Or I can see it being a follow me one. Let's just see how this plays out. Let's see who he leads. I can see him leading Sandstream, guys, but not too sure. I'm not too sure who he's going to lead here. It's not that obvious of a pick because his team is so versatile. But let's go. I'm looking to get this win here. Go 2-1 with this team. But, oh my god, I wish we were 2-0 right now. Guy had Morning Sun, but he goes Polsky into the bu 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 bump. The Polsky into the Hope Kiss. Um, I think I'm gonna go Rage Powder here. I think I'm gonna go Rage Powder just to get this Trick Room set up. I can see him going Dynamax into like a Max Phantasm. So I'm gonna go Rage Powder in, instead of going for the Sleep Ski Poos. Because both these Pokemon should be faster than my Butterfree. Maybe, maybe the Toad Kiss might not be, but definitely the Polt. The Poltsky. What are you going to do? I can see him Dynamaxing right off the rip and going for Phantasm and a follow me, maybe? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Because I can eventually just Hypnosis both of these guys. We have double sleep here, which would be huge. Double slumbers. Bump. Bump, bump. What you want? What you want? Go ahead, make a move. He's confused. He's like, what do I do? He's got the Bronx Song Butterfree combo. I'm like, yeah, what you want, dude? Rage Powder comes flying out here. Everybody get over here. Look at that. A little bit of Rage Powder action. What's he going to go for? A Flamethrower over on my Bronx. Oh, on my Butterfree. That's fine. That's what I wanted. It was probably going on my Bronx. And then maybe a Heat Wave's popping out here, which my Bronx should be able to eat up. And then we get the Trick Room going. A Gleamy. That's fine. A Gleamy. My Bronx eats that up. All I wanted was the Trick Room. We get the Trick Room set up here. We're going to bring out the Rive here. Drop a Rock Fall on the Dragapult. Because if the follow me comes, then I'll just slide over to the Tokus, and I shouldn't go for a Quake, because you guys already know that. You guys already know that deal. Right, Pierre, get out there, my dude. Get out there. Um, who do I put to sleep? Whom do I put to sleep? I said we put the Tokus side to sleep in case he swaps out the Tokus. Let's go Hypnosis, bang over on you, and then we'll drop a big fat rock fall. Get the sand stream rolling. A big fat rock fall. Let's go, my dude. Right, Pierre, up in here. Gonna get. 400 some HP. Absolute unit. He's an absolute unit. Let's go. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. I think it's 424. Is that correct? 424? Bulky defensive tank here. My man, Pots and Panties. He's gonna go second. Bronzine's gonna go first. I'm seeing a potential swap out or a follow me. That's why I'm dropping a rock. Which will be totally fine by me. Hypnosis, what's he going for? Oh, he's Dynamaxing. Oh, he's Dynamaxing. Who are you Dynamaxing is my question. Whom are you Dynamaxing? My dude. The Dragapult? The Poltsky does get the... Oh, he is special attacking. He had a flamethrower on him. But I think my Rhyperior should be able to eat up a shot here. We might go for a max player on my Bronzong. But my Bronzong is going to be able to put the Togekiss to sleep. Let's see what the Togekiss does. Follow me. Ally switch. Oh, baby. Bronzong even better. We'll be able to take out the Togekiss and Bronzong can put you to sleep. Yes! Even better! Even better, I was predicting the swap out. Oh my god, even better. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my dude. Bad play call by him. Y'all yeet, baby. See ya. Dawn, Sandstream is rolling now. 
Oh, this guy's furious. Worst ally switch ever. That was the worst ally switch ever. <laughs> like, it would have been so much better for him to just go for, like, a follow me or something. <laughs> Pulsey's gonna take a little bit of buffet. Same thing with the... Oh, no, Bronzong is steel type. Steel types do not take buffets. The buffet damage from the sandstorm. Going from the hail speed. But he's gonna roll into his T-Tar. Oh, we dump it on that T-Tar. Um, I can see a protect coming in from that. To be honest. To be honest. I can eventually speed swap later. But, do I see him protecting? No, I'm gonna throw a sleep on him. I'm gonna put him to sleep. And then I'm gonna go after this Poltsky. Going after this Poltsky. Because I can totally see a protect coming out from the T-Tar. Let's see what happens. He canceled. There it is. Win. Quick win. Let's go. Two and one with this team. That's how you do it. That was so fast and so easy. Let's go, guys. Absolutely dominated in that third and final battle. That was pretty hype. Just a quick match. Got that trick room set up, and we showed off how strong this team can potentially be. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.